Welcome back to Shift to Diggy, guys. Polo and Fatty. Hey, guys, welcome back to another segment. What have you got today, Polo? Today, we've got a BYD. Do you know what that stands for? You're going to tell me, aren't you? Build your dreams. Yeah, you're building, he's building my dreams. Are you building my dreams? <laughs> Is this the car of our dreams, Fatty? Oh, it looks like it. I like the color. Yeah, it's actually pretty nice. I'm sorry, I had to interrupt there because I just, it stands out so well, hey. This is a uh, blue, that's called. A <laughs> it blue? actually comes in five different colors. It's uh, actually just called blue. Blue? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna check that out, guys, just to make sure Paula's not I'll show you it. guys as well, anyway. <laughs> but this is uh, one of the five colors, I believe. And, this and is uh, yeah. Chinese wheel. Or it? electric Chinese vehicle. Now, wow. this is actually dominating the market. It's pretty much, I think, one of the top selling cars right now. I think because also price has a big factor to do it. That's the whole thing yeah. behind this car, guys. It is a budget full EV car. Now, these start at 39 drive away um, here in Australia, or you can get the higher range run, which gives you approximately 80 kilometers more for another $3,000. So that'll be about 52K on road. Wow. For an and, for electric car. And depending on the time and where the state and everything, there are certain rebates you can get on electric cars, which makes this might even what might even make this even a bit cheaper for you guys. But that's actually quite impressive. If you that, think about it. Exactly. Now there's a lot to get into it and uh yeah, let's do it. All right, guys, let's get into the design aspects of the vehicle. First thoughts is this is a very funky, look, funky looking car. Being an EV, I think it kind of needs to be, though. Uh, it's, I like the height. The height doesn't give it a bit of appeal. It's not too small, but at the same time, it gives you a bit of like a kind of almost SUV kind of style feel. Medium, I reckon. Medium. Oh, I'd say, if anything, compact SUV, yeah. really. It's got nice uh, LEDs here to come through. Let me come there, show the viewers what we got. I like that little blue plate they've got right under the head, the lights. It gives it a bit more of an electric feel, don't you reckon? Yeah, so it ties in well with the color as well. Yeah, you've got your chrome kind of panel here that comes along the whole front end, pretty much as a grill. Got the BYD right here, looks pretty good. Building Polar's dreams right now, look at Building it. all the dreams, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, just to the bottom part of the front bar. I wouldn't say aggressive, but it's kind of it's trying funky. to lead that way. It's funky. Yeah, it's got like a working little vents here. So you've got the whole vent or the whole part here, this whole thing. But really over here, the air does funnel through. So it does have function there. Going through the lines, you've got your front camera over here. Let me just show the viewers. I like how they integrated the actual sensors as well. Yeah, the sensors are there. But they've tied them so well. And you've got a bit of airflow as well, just underneath there. It's pretty cool. Moving on to the wheels here, guys. Very funky style, 18 inch wheels. I feel like with electric cars, you need to have a bit of funk to them. You need to have a bit of like that electric kind of futuristic vibe, which this kind of gives you that. It's got these little um, lined up style pattern here and the rest of it is a kind of funky look. Futuristic, eh? Yeah, not overly wide tires. It's look about eight and a half inch, but uh, nine, 18 inch wheels. Well, cool, you've got a nice little BYD design badge here. Oh, bad. You've got your got folding mirrors and you've also got the camera that's for the 360 camera the camera and this is actually great i'll show you guys very soon but you also do have a actual part where if you do indicate left i noticed coming out of the driveway it actually does show you the camera kind of like the hondas do so that's pretty cool i'll show you that as well 100 percent electric this is just a bit of a decal but yeah just if you forget <laughs> it's electric guys it's just if you forgot we've got to make sure you remember um and yeah uh, this is a pretty cool styling aspect here it's got like almost like a fish scale design feels pretty cool it actually looks really cool as well it kind of reminds you of uh, a few different cars i think the hyundai's have something similar too as well i think the tucson had something very similar to this like sleek crossbars i mean sorry roof rails across as well so you can see and one thing it's got a beautiful panoramic roof here and it's functional isn't it very nice and you can open and close it it works very well and I have to say, with the panoramic roof, it gives you a very luxury feel. I actually like that a lot. All right, guys, now at the back here, you can see the boot is very long. It's got a nice little spoiler here. Gives a bit of style. But you, to open the boot, you actually have to reach down here. 
Sure. Well, I think you need to try that again. Oh, it always happens, man. I swear it's electric. There we go. Follow's pressing the wrong button, guys. <laughs> cool little thing to know. I just saw it as we opened the boot. There's a little camera there. The reverse or 360 camera. Got your boot close and lock here. And what do we know? We've got the charger handy. Now, me and Fatty were actually a little worried because we were a bit running a bit low on battery. We thought we'll have this handy. <laughs> but luckily, fingers crossed, we haven't needed it so far. What's underneath here? Oh, look at that. How good. Oh, repair kit. Got a little kit. Little box here. That's for charging. That's the charging. You've got the safety triangle. And, and they give you a vest. How handy is this? Of course. And then your repair. Oh, what's in this thing? Oh, it's actually quite heavy. Man. Every time Paula says something in a box, he has to open it. Unboxing, guys. Oh. oh. Face and body cleaner. Cleanser. Okay. I don't... Yeah. Well, it's read by BYD. Look. <laughs> I mean, like... Volumizing conditioner. I think something I'd need, eh? I think it's what you, do you, you Paula. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, that's good. pretty cool. I like the nets on each corner. It's got a net. Now, I don't know if you guys can see in the video properly, but Fatty, try and show them. This actually has, it's almost like a false floor, right? Yeah. So you nick this up and you've got a big kind of, how can I say, probably about 25 centimeter drop, drop. here. And um, you've got your little nets on the side. It's cool because you can store a lot more stuff underneath. But you know what? I think that you can actually put this thing under there. Paula's just trying new things oh, there. Yeah. See what Paula's coming right. up. Yeah. Go, Paula. Look at right. that. Just in case you needed that extra space. There you go. Good job, Paula. I Keep guess, it up. You know. You've done it. Yeah. Now you can, you can yeah. store everything in there. Close it back up. All right, now the charge port's here, guys. So when you need it, on the right side, got two little plugs. Yeah. I believe one's for output, one's for input. I might be wrong. So that way you can actually charge up, for example, your laptop, your iPhone. It's like an adapter that you can actually get. Any of those attachments you get, I guess, yeah. I love how the car itself is like one massive battery charging all your things. <laughs> it kind of is. Now, let's pop the bonnet. Oh, let's have a look at this beast. Come on, Paolo, get in there. Ah, oh, you ready for this? Pop that trunk. Yep, he's got it. I got it. Any day now. <laughs> You know what? You know, I enjoy this. <laughs> We're not cutting this out. This is going to be a hit the video, Paula. Yeah, for real. How do you open this thing? I think you have to what? press it twice, maybe. Let's let's have a look, guys. There we go. You have to press it twice. See? Who would have figured that out? Paula, you did. Look at that. Let me see that big beast. Ready, guys? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> it is a front-wheel drive vehicle, guys. It Puts out 150 kilowatts. 150 kilowatts? Yeah. It's uh, not bad at all, in my, my opinion, for what it is. So what? It's about, what, 7.3? 7.3 to 100 k's, I believe. 7.3 seconds. And this bad boy, guys. Just check it all out. Get it all in. It's a lot of spacey. You can, I feel like you just drop your hand all the way. I feel like there's a lot of possibilities for storage. I'm just falling. <laughs> yeah, you can also put a little frunk here. I, feel. I think if you add some plastic, give it a bit of a dip, definitely could make a frunk. That's what it's called, right? Frunk. Frunk. Is that what it's called, Paul? Trunk that's in the front. Frunk. Frunk. Yeah. Paul is, oh. All right, that's enough of this. Don't get too excited. I just, I couldn't believe that. It was a big engine. It's a big block. No, oh, mate. Too much. Um, Could you just imagine driving and your kids at the back constantly strumming this thing? Be... Don't you think it'll be a bit annoying? I think that'll be a great way to get on the nerves. It'll keep them quiet too, but I reckon. Yeah. Anyways, uh, first thing I noticed, I'll be honest, is just under your knee, you've got a little USB-C and then a normal USB as well. Just there, and then you've got the BYD. Design. BYD, you've got the air vents there. Got... And then, of course, I love how it's got separate pouches. Yeah. So you can place different items. This is really important. Both sides actually have them. Yeah, it's the... Oh, uh, I love the seats. They've got like a kind of sporty design. You can... But you can't yeah, adjust... No, the actual... Adjustable... Yes, you're right. Headrests. So... Wow. It gives you a bit more of a sporty design though, I must admit. It does, because it's got yeah, the whole... Got the panoramic roof. How's the headspace? I can see, that is a pretty tall bloke considering, guys, and he seems to have plenty of headroom. I've still got that much left. 
Yeah, it's cool. Your knees aren't touching the front. No, and they're not touching the front end. The seat's pretty back as well. But I'm going to show you a couple of things inside the vehicle. Let's do it. Now, keyless entry standard, of course. Every model these days has, of course, keyless entry. You get button right here to press. Yep, just there. Now, blind spot monitoring is also standard. Can you see the little triangle there, Paul? They come around. Yes. It's all a must. These things are important in a vehicle. Now, Paula, this is the first thing we realized when we actually jumped in, guys. And this is why I'm pointing it out. Paul, can you tell the viewers what we're looking at right now? This is actually to open the car. This is a handle. Yes. See, guys, this that, is how it works. It's actually really cool. So, speaker, handle. And also, this actually illuminates. This, yes, this it does. Right here and it changes color. It changes color. So, it has all different colors. And I'll show you guys that as well. Now, look at that. First, first fuel. It feels, how soft is it? It feels nice. Nice premium feel. Just that touch itself. I want to get into the actual fun part. What's this? And listen to this. Oh, it's a guitar. Paula, there you go. Paul that actually sounds mad. It sounds like a bass. So Paula's going to be releasing a new track soon with BYD, playing the guitar inside the vehicle. Ready? That's the wrong button, mate. Oh. It's on the left side. This one. Sorry, guys. Wow. That. Now, I guess that would actually come in handy if you think about it. Well, look, orientation, in my opinion, I like it more horizontal, but depending on how you like it, you can change it. Well, I reckon for navigation wise, this is actually much better. Uh, I actually like it the other way. Do you? Yeah. I'm going to have to talk about that later, Paula. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have it's actually not pretty funky. No. That's the inbuilt navigation. Now you can use Apple CarPlay in the new models. Wow, look know. at that. That's actually great, yeah. Very detailed. Mm -hmm. um, that's, um, awesome. that's actually mad screen. No, you can actually twist it back again. You can press it from the screen here. It shows your charging points, which is really good. Of course, the degrees, everything. It's pretty good. The notifications. What else is on there? You've got the air conditioning controls, the home screens there. You've got your phone connections. Bluetooth. Oh, look. And everything's touchscreen. I love that. Yeah, everything is touchscreen. That's insane. They've actually, I'm guessing you press in and then you can put it into reverse and it shows you here. You got your 360 camera actually. Yeah. Thanks and for showing us. Guidelines, which actually move with, with the vehicle when you're turning the steering wheel. Very clear camera. And I like how they've actually used the whole screen as the camera. A lot of cars that we've mentioned before will have a full screen, but the camera is like a portion of it. Like where this is the whole thing. This actually uses up the whole screen, which I absolutely love. So yeah, three, look how clear that is, guys. And I, I actually, like you said, I prefer how the actual camera itself is mostly the reverse and then yeah. the 360 is just a portion. Yeah, you've got both options. Sometimes you have to choose between one or the other. Oh, what's this? Front camera. Yes. Back camera. Side camera. Oh, that is crazy. Yes. Other side. Great. Whole view front. Whole view back. Both sides. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's insane. And of course, you've got all the sensors as well. That's insane. And that's all inside actually the screen itself. Yeah. Now, now press that 3D button. What does that do? This one? On the, no, right side. On the right. Hey, the look, your car goes invisible. <laughs> that means no one can see us now, Paul. You can see through the car. <laughs> now oh, that's. Oh, wow. It, move it around with your finger. Huh? How cool is that, oh, What is that? Have you seen that before? This is this is funky, Paula. That is cool. Uh, you had enough time playing. Okay, with? I'm gonna stop playing. Oh wait, one more. That's probably my favorite feature so far. Actually. Oh, that is actually yeah, yeah. How cool is that? All right, let's let's get back into the review now, guys. We're having too much fun playing with it. Now, back on the note, before we move from the screen, Paul, you mentioned this model now has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto because you actually picked yes, it up. Yes, I did. Yes, so and we've got to plug it in for that. All right, Baz, let's show them this little console here. All right, cool gear stick, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. It's Simple. Cool. Uh, ND here. And press the button to select, of course. You push that in and you push down. And you've got your park here. You just press that button, it turns it straight into park. But I think one cool design aspect that we should mention is, we were talking about this earlier, is the start-stop button. If you actually look closely, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm trying to get some focus there, but it has like a diamond kind of cut finish where it has start-stop embedded inside. That's pretty cool. 
That is yeah. pretty cool. You got your volume here. So the old school people that still like hazards. Yeah, you got your parking sensors, um, also the blind spot sensors, auto vehicle hold. Um, now these buttons here on the left side, you can switch between the high or standard drive. And then on the right side, you actually have different sports modes. So you can put sports, normal, or eco. Pretty, pretty cool. cool. Let's have some fun. I'm still getting used to that gear stick. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I was just saying, just, we just took off, right? Can you hear a bit of a hum? Yeah, now I don't know if it's going to translate well into the video, guys, but when you're driving, you've got a very light hum. Now, obviously, that's for safety reasons. You're driving around, no one can hear you. Kids, people, even animals might not be able to hear you. So let's try and reverse that. Let's try it to reverse. Okay. I feel like we just, how we yeah. stop anyway, just trying it out. Good for camera, but. Oh, yeah, you do is. have a hum. Now, Let's see if you can hear it for a second. Now, there's a bit of a louder hum when you're reversing and a bit of a softer hum when you're driving straight. You can hear it. You can, yeah, it's, you it's hear cool. It. It's, a, you know, it's, a, it's something that's needed. Okay. Well, there's a 360 camera there too. I like the 360 <laughs> camera follow. Yes, oh, let's okay. give it a drive. Screen is actually amazing because I love how it actually tells me the street sign. 50 here, so I know I'm not speeding. And then, of course, the speedo itself. Simple. Mm -hmm. Now, overall, I'm just trying to actually... How's the visibility, Fads? It's actually not bad. Now, these cars have 150 kilowatts, which is plenty of power for what it is. If you do go for the standard, it's about 50.1 kilowatt battery. And it gives you so about... that's for the standard? That's for the standard. Okay. And if you go for the extended, you give you get actually 60.4 um, kilowatts. Okay. Same power output, 150 kilowatts of power and um, 310 newton meters of torque on both. That's a lot. Yeah, specs aren't too much different. The only thing you got to keep in mind is the standard ones gives you approximately 400 kilometers of range, whereas the extended will give you approximately 480. That's so actually pretty good. For an extra that. three grand, that's what you're paying for. I would pay the three grand to be honest yeah. with you to get that yeah. extra mileage. All right, now show us that camera, Fatty. Turn right. right. Turning right. Didn't come on. Oh, I didn't. I think you have to do it from a standstill. Okay, we'll try when we do a standstill. But right now we've actually come pretty so, much on the freeway just to give it a bit of oomph. Not nice. bad. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, actually not yeah, bad. very nice and smooth. You do get pushed back to the seat a bit, don't yeah, you? It's See, it's pulling me. Yeah, back. me too. Which is which is actually uh, it's actually pulling. Can you feel it? Yeah, it's really cool. Paul's going to start getting and, um, car at the moment. <laughs> what I was mentioning before, guys, when you indicate left, um, you've got your camera here that comes up. And uh, what it does, it basically shows you the, where you're turning into before you the get the curbside. Come the curbside, yeah. So you can actually see a lot better. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, it looks like a really nice driving position. The steering's placed well. You've got a nice visibility around everything. And what a beautiful day it is! Just, just a quick comment. Got this, oh, it's got the panoramic roof open. How cool is that? Look at that view from behind here. All is enjoying it. Plenty of boot space here. And back seat space. Now. As you can see with this polo itself, I'm actually quite spacious as well because I something with knees for yeah. two people that's our biggest factor. Now you got plenty of space there, don't you? I do, and it's not hitting against, of course, the console. And yeah. speaking about console, we forgot to mention actually it's got wireless wireless charging charger. Yeah. there and underneath now there's storage. Yeah, that's one it? thing. Now I was looking for a charge kit for the place to basically connect my phone, and that was a bit hidden at first. But once you find it, you're like, that is actually ingenious. It is. You can actually store anything under there yeah. as well. And um, one thing to note, guys, is CarPlay is wired only. There wasn't wireless. Oh, it's only wired. wired which I actually don't mind because you're going to have to charge it really anyway. Yeah. And not everyone likes wireless charging. The only reason why I mention all these little things because it's so important when you, yeah. when you especially your phone. Yes. Yeah. It's out of the way and it's actually plugged into the massive screen. Yeah. Now, Vance, how's the roundabout? steering? It controls quite well around the roundabout. Steering wheel is quite light, to be honest with you. It's very responsive. Yeah, I'm, it is. I'm just taking this thing like this. All right, mate, you're going to get me car sick. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just seeing how it actually sticks. But overall, there's not much road noise, I mean, to be honest with you. There's a little bit, but I reckon it's probably from the tyres itself. I reckon if you take there's not much noise at all, there. No. Yeah, if you change your tyres, you can do that as well. But yeah, actually, I'm really enjoying this. Even as a passenger, I've got plenty of room. Great visibility all around. I've got my own little tweeter here and my own speaker there. Oh, it just went red. It's turning it. red as well. Yeah, it's sensitive. No, it's not. No, it's <laughs> kind of feels like a kind of a jet fuel, just like pulling his back, opening the door. But it's really cool, very funky. Got my own guitar. I was just enjoying all the aspects of the video. Yeah, well, I have to admit, I can't get over the back of the guitar, the, the strings here. It's a very, 
You know, it makes me think, would they wear over time as well? But oh, well, now it's yeah, soft touch here. Soft touch, and I love the curve. Do you see that curve on the actual? Yeah, it's got a nice kind of design. Let me give you like a dash. angled view there, but yeah. We took that turn amazingly. Woo! All right, fads, don't kill us, mate. Uh, it's very responsive. <laughs> All right. Having fun driving this. All right. That's on that key factor when you're saying also, it's actually got a lot of safety features as well. Yes, so it does. The blind spot monitoring. Blind spot monitoring. Yeah. It does have adaptive cruise control, which I was using before, which was great. Uh, now it's a must. I think every single person emergency that, braking, which is one of the best things you can actually have in a vehicle. Yep. But overall, safety wise, drive wise, I can't fault anything to be honest with you, Paula. Look, guys, for the money, if you want to get into the EV market, you want one of these. It's you know, it does just make sense. It does make it does. sense. It I know, I know, people tend to stay away from the Chinese built cars, but that. At the end of the day, there's a reason why these are cars are so selling so well. There has to be a reason. There is. There has to be a reason, and I think um, I think it's. But overall, Paula, how's it from your end? You great. It? Yeah, it's great. But um, yeah. Anyways, that's great. All right, sweet. Well, let's get it back. Hey guys, that's it for the video. We just want to say thank you to everyone for watching and for subscribing. We love you all. Thanks again, guys. Just remember, sunny down at Liverpool will help you out if you guys are after a BYD. Definitely look after you guys. He's been nothing but uh, amazing to us. Helped us out with his car. So we'll make sure we'll put all his details in the description and just give him a shout out from us as well. And thanks for subscribing, everyone. Everything that you guys do, every interaction does definitely help us build our dream. Yeah. Did, you, did you just do that on purpose? Did you see what I did there? <laughs> did you see what he did? Just comment, guys. You click the subscribe button wherever it is, guys. I love you yeah. all. Yeah. Until thanks. next time. See you guys.